There are three approaches. So one common approach that we have seen is, a lot of companies start with that. They start with one department. They take any one department, their HR, their finance, or they start with few processes, five, 10 processes, and they try to make it end-to-end -end digital. They tell their finance, let's make you a digital uh, department. In this approach, you start with complex processes, and you automate them completely end-to-end, -end, and it delivers high ROI when you start with. In this approach, you combine the power of RPA and our IQ bot to automate any process end to end. But you pick one, one process at the time and you go from there, or a few processes at a time and go from there. President Ronald Reagan coined the term, trust but verify. And that's why we like to call this the Reagan approach. Because that's the mindset with which you are operating. You're going few steps at a time. Now there are companies who start with a completely different uh, approach. They want to take this technology and democratize it. Democratize it. They start with a headline that 50%, 60%, 70%, 100% of my employee base want to work with a digital colleague. One of the best part of RPA as a technology is it allows you to democratize automation and truly put it in hands of every user. With A2019, you can put it in hand of your business user. IT loves it, and absolutely all the developers are absolutely loving it. You can truly give it in hand of everyone. In this approach, you start automating simple processes and medium processes, and you get some productivity gain. But the real benefit is you start changing the mindset of your organization. Because automating is easier. Making people think automation is very hard. And with this approach, you start putting the DNA of automation in your organization. You start creating a belief system that, yes, we can. And that's why we like to call this the Obama approach. Now, there are companies who start with transformation from day one. They're thinking transformation from day one, and they start with a bold approach. They want to scale digitally. And they create this idea that I am going to create 20% more capacity for my business through digital workforce, 10% of my capacity through digital workforce. I'm going to scale digitally. You heard Gary talking about it earlier. By end of this year, Automation Anywhere will be 3,000 people and 300 bots. That's nothing but creating 10% capacity digitally. It's about scaling digitally. There are companies who are on mission. By end of this year, they will have 20,000 employees and 4,000 digital workers working side by side. In this approach, you are questioning not why to automate. You're questioning why to do it manually. The mindset is different. The approach is completely different. You take every process and you try to automate it end to end. You combine the power of business, IT, and developers, and you take it across the company. You go broad across your whole organization and deep across every department, and you run them and take them to that level. This is a dream approach, and that's why we like to call it Dr. Martin Luther King, I have a dream approach. Now, most of the companies start with one of these approaches. My request to you is at least try to start two of them in parallel. Think of them as two different lanes on a highway where cars are running at different speed on those lanes. Some of the best in breed programs around the world have figured out a way to do all these three things in parallel. If you can do that, you've hit a jackpot, but at least try to use any one of these two approaches in parallel. And if you want to talk to any one of us, we'll be happy to share the playbooks with you.